What were you bullied for? Being my mom smoked continuously so being poor and smelly. Kids are brutal. Eczema which often affected my face. Being the small kid. I was called a biscuit head because my head was shaped like a biscuit. I was socially awkward. I also was greatly motivated to be liked. I did a lot of shit trying to be liked that in hindsight made me unliked. My name. Being too quiet. No I just don't want to talk to you assholes. That's the question, I have no clue but they hated me for no reason. Being easy to walk over. I had a really hard time asserting myself. So being too nice. But really, just very insecure. I didn't know it at the time, but for being autistic. Having glasses. Fuck you classmates. Having red hair. Being smaller than average the time and being poor. Glasses, red hair, and freckles. Opie, howdy Judy, and red-headed stepchild jokes all the way through school. Weight, acne, hygiene, voice, you name it that was about 20 years ago in high school, but that bullying cut deep and the emotions I felt during those times still feel as fresh as they did back then when I think about it. Being of Indian origin in a 1980s English inner city school. It got bad and mum got me an actual concealed money belt as I was bullied for money so was starving and beaten up when I got home. Then I discovered Road to Redemption was a bloody one smiling face with open mouth. For being half German, couldn't go a day in high school without a guy in my class pretended to be my friend and would call me a Nazi, drawing swastikas all over my school workbooks and then justifying it because his dad was Jewish and he was Russian and the Russians beat the Nazis so he was better than me. I was always too anxious about not having friends didn't know how to make friends that I put up with it for four years. Being a girl with dark body hair and a small chest. Girls are vicious. LOL when I was in sixth grade I had a boyfriend who broke up with me because I liked Kingdom Hearts and that is the nerdiest game ever and man he made sure to make all his friends know about it. Was also bullied for having red hair, having freckles, my nose, the music I liked. Kids will find anything to be assholes about. Being anorexic. My school nickname was Skelly and whenever I used to not eat they would say I was weird call me names. When we watched an anorexia video in the health ed classes they all laughed asking who recorded me. The girl died. I eventually found an abandoned loo and stayed there during meals. The teachers didn't notice or care and I lost three stone in a year. My parents eventually cottoned on and pulled me out. I was raped by my friend's 35-year-old brother when I was 13 when she abandoned me at his house. After that happened, she started a rumor that I was a whore and every day at school girls would scream at me and ask, how far along are you? And things of that nature. I got called a whore so frequently that I dropped out due to it. It's all right, though. Got my GED, went to college, graduated summa cum laude. I'm smart, I'm attractive, I am happy. They can all fuck off. I was annoying. I talked too much. I read instead of running around outside. I clicked my teeth on my utensils when I ate. I hummed bits of songs. I breathed too loud. I asked too many questions. I was awkward. I ate too much. I dressed badly. My entire existence was a constant assault on the senses of my bully. She was my mom. Being shy and overweight. Being short, young looking, and having curly frizzy hair. My voice. Apparently I sound white and like a squirrel. Bullying started when my parents moved us from suburbs to the inner city. Having parents that weren't divorced. Skin color. The fact that my head was shaped like how kids would draw a house, but then upside down. Years later it turned out that the ladies actually preferred an angulated head instead of an egg. Being raped in middle school. 
he was the most popular guy, I was the new, awkward, overweight girl no one liked. When that happened my parents pressed charges and so everyone knew within days. School was terrible cause all the kids would mock me, pretending to be raped in the hallways. The guy that did it had a very pretty very popular girlfriend, who was embarrassed and very cruel. So I was harassed by all the kids, constantly, on a daily basis, in all different types of ways. It led to me trying to kill myself, at 13 years old. Being left-handed I got bullied for being indigenous, every single day. Also for being undiagnosed autistic. For having a mother that was a hoarder. Girls were horrendous to me. I have big boobs and it was a focal point for both genders. Liking Sailor Moon I was in first grade, probably around 1998. I had a Sailor Moon lunchbox and everyone would laugh at me. It's cool to like it now. For liking Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh at 12 years old, not knowing any sexual terms at 12 years old, not liking sports. My mom wouldn't let me shave my legs in middle school. It was awful. Being ugly and fat. Their own insecurities. For being fat and introverted. For being the quiet kid. Heterochromia. Called devil eyes, demon eyes, had one kid flick water on me from the water fountain acting like it was holy water and say get back devil in a mocking way. Boy did that flip. My empathy and introversion. It was more of taken advantage of to the point that I got treated like an outcast though, dunno if this was bullying but the other kids were your typical rich partying snobbish kids while I was one of the middle class guys. Being tall and muscular and not being girly. Being a light-skinned Mexican. I don't remember. I do remember turning the tables by insulting them until they ran inside to bawl their eyes out to the teacher. One of the few benefits of being raised in a deeply sarcastic New England family. That I look different. For liking Batman and Pokemon. Freckles. I think. For getting A's. My skin being dark. LOL even my family bullied me for that. I was so insecure about my own skin for decades. My crooked teeth and coke bottle glasses as I'm severely nearsighted. Got contact so that eliminated one issue, but the dental care I need to fix my crooked teeth is so expensive I'll probably die never knowing what it is to talk, smile or laugh without feeling super self-conscious. Existing. Being nerdy, introverted, and apparently having a nicely shaped but my main bully was a girl, so in hindsight the latter one makes a bit more sense. For context, my bully is on her third marriage, the second of which was to an abusive psychopath and she cares more for money and status than anything. For liking cats more than dogs. Being an only child. Weird but true. My mental disabilities. It got so bad that kids started throwing rocks at me during recess. And not the tiny pebbles, full on rocks. One time one of them nailed me in the back of the head. I was lucky that it wasn't terrible and I got to go home. Still think I have a tiny scar from it. I'm basically every minority, Mexican, LGBTQ, trans, autistic, etc. Kids are so brutal so you can imagine how I was treated in school. Because I was ADHD and an easy to rage out if they bothered me. For being a darker skinned Latino with glasses. It be your own people. My extremely thick, West Virginia accent. When I was nine years old, we moved from WV to Cincinnati. I was in the middle of the fourth grade and was super shy on top of it. I worked quickly to get rid of it. My dad was a social worker and we were so poor, we qualified for food stamps, just as the families my dad advocated for. Being an unknowing autistic kid with weird interests. I was also overweight and came out as a lesbian in year 8. The bullying was vicious. 
Being gay didn't realize at the time, but somehow middle school boys always know the right slur to use upside down face.